Hi guys, my name is Mama Sharin Kushari bin Samsuri. All of you can call me Sharin. I'm from DUP2C. My metric number 36DUP20F113. Today, I will explain about definition for air transportation and definition for airlines. Definition for air transportation. Air transportation is the movement of passenger and friends by any conveyance that can sustain control flights. Next definition for airlines. An airlines is a company that provide air transportation service for traveling passenger and friends. Airlines utilize aircraft to supply their service and may form partnership or alliances which are the airlines for coach agreements. Generally, airlines companies are recognized with a operating certificate or a license issued by a government's aviation body. Okay guys, as you can see, this is a first class in the flight. Okay, first class also known as a suite is a travel class on some passenger airlines intended to be more luxurious than business class and uh, economy class. And you know what guys, first class usually refer to a limited number, rarely more than 20 of seats or cabin toward the front of the aircraft which have uh, more space, comfort, service, and privacy. Okay, that's it for first class information. Thank you. Okay, so I will share to you guys about business class. So this is business class. Business class is an airline class uh, that above economy is with upgrade amenities, service, and seating. Uh, there's a difference between first class and business class so for the first class is passenger might have a seat that didn't turn into bed or have their even even have their own private apartment but when business class is uh, they might offer only a leg room but doesn't offer a private space okay so this is economic class as you can see so economic class also called a uh, third class standard economy or budget economy in this economic class is the lowest travel class of sitting in a travel so this lowest uh, price option has some important restriction on sitting carry on baggage including a premium member benefit and other aspect of your travel Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Isat Bin Haji Azinun, I'm from Tobi. My metric number 36 DUP 201087. 20, so uh, today I'm gonna talk about ferries and traffic. So uh, for example, when you go to the airport to buy a ticket, uh, as it, if you see a new ticket, there's a there's a code. What's that code? What the meaning of that? Let me tell you. So. It's a fair basis code. Uh, a fair basis code is an alphabetic or alphanumeric that used by the airlines to uh, identify a fair type and allow airline staff and travel agent to find the rules and applicable to that fair. Although some airlines uh, they use their own code and there's some pattern that have involved over the years they change they change their own code and that's for basis ticket and a booking code uh, identify used by airlines when you view management department to control how many seats can be sold at that time and some codes uh, cannot be sold by agent because those seat may reserved by for international connection for royalty program or airline staff relocation that's why and for the next is the baggage the luggage luggage fee uh, airline may charge an additional fee for check on carry on bags this this fee uh, set by individual airline and it can be ranged from uh, 15 to 200 per per flight 
in some airlines they also uh, charge fee for any overweight any luggage typical over 50 pounds or oversize and it up to 400 for international flight and for example uh, the booking code is a uh, for F the meaning F is a uh, full fare first class or airlines which have first class distinct from business class and next is J the meaning of that full fare business class and the next is W full fare premium economies and the last code is Y Y full fare economy class and that's the meaning of the booking code Okay, Assalamualaikum and Salam Sejahtera My name is Muhammad Izwan I'm from UP 2C My metric number uh, 36DOP 20F 1106 Fares and Tariff So, the, the price of your ticket consists of a number of things with each which is a uh, which is flexibility in no a specific date so it's mean with is uh, the price will change for every day and every time for example is if the school holiday season uh, every big festival the ticket price will get more expensive so the second is taxi and airport fee uh, which is uh, with with the ex existence of this tax we can claim back the money for example like uh, the type of refund of exhibition cancellation and production condition can, can create uh, by asia is found is fine to apply so the last is uh, distance of of the fuel source charge uh, which is uh, it's it's uh it's uh this is because it's very important to material for example by oil ship so that is for me thank you the price of your ticket consists of a number of things is a food uh, talking about food when we buy a food on a flight then our ticket will be charged but there are also airlines uh, that do already provide package uh, for food in the ticket. Uh, we as a customer or passengers must choose according to our respective wishes. Next is a uh, baggage. Uh, as a far I know, uh, the luggage that can be brought into the cabin should not exit. 7 kg and only laptop bags uh, that you can be brought into the cabin. If you carry large luggage, it will be uh, placed into the cargo and will be charged according to the weight of the luggage that you carry. Last but not least, as we know, in Malaysia there are only two airlines. Is it uh, AirAsia and Mass Airlines? So far, for uh, Asia Airlines, it's uh, only it's uh, one of the cheapest airlines. Uh, although cheap, but he have uh, many disadvantage, such as must make a food purchase uh, if you want to eat on the plane. Not only that. Uh, if you want to put the uh, luggage in the cargo, you will make a reservation on the tickets so that it uh, can be, uh, be cheaper when compared to the counter. However, Asia Airlines uh, have a even newer and prettier aircraft. For mass airline, it has a slightly expensive ticket price, but it has its own advantage such as having a food preparation and can carry carry the uh, luggage for the free according to 
to the white set by them. We must be good at the making the uh, right choose. Mm, if you have a cross flight, you do you do not have to choose chosen airlines that has a full package. But if you have a long flight, you must choose uh, the airlines that suit with your choice. Assalamualaikum and to Cesaris. Today I will talk about rules and regulation at airport. Before I start, let I introduce myself. My name is Mohan Aswan bin Junaidi. Matrix number 36DUP20F1097 and I'm from class 2B. So before you going anywhere with airline, so of course you must have a identification ID or passport, whatever. So all international domestic for require passenger to check in valid identification card. The second is without valid identification, any airline company would not be able to properly identify the passenger. And then the transportation security administration say having valid identification is a part of the scanning process and a required security check. And then if you can see on my right side, you can see many types identification like current state ID, driver license, resident card, passport, school ID, and military ID. Alright, the second is about check-in time. Check-in time is an important thing for passenger. If they fail to comply with what is said by airline, with what is said by airline, they will inevitable get into trouble in all airline company uh, they have set entry rules that all the passengers must obey or follow then example uh, airline company in Malaysia has encouraged all passengers to early arrive to early uh, such as three hours or one hours from the time for to departure Right. The last is about turn off all electronic what you bring to aircraft. So all devices are capable of disrupting an aircraft system and causing more work to be done by pilots will in critical phase of flight. When take off or landing, uh, the pilot is in a flight phase that require a high level of concentration. A small problem caused by electronic device can distract the pilot at the same time reducing the level of safety of the aircraft and affecting the comfort of the passengers on board. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Ahmad Saudin from DOP 2C. Today I will tell you about rules and regulation about airport. So to, I only choose three points which is, is no provide thing in checking luggage and the second is good and service tax declaration and the last one the last one is healthy churning churning at interpoint. So let's go to first the the first point is uh not no providing thing in checking luggage means that uh, it's more about or some of object not to provide on plans at all time which is uh, example for object do not to provide them is like gas cross cro poison liquid deadly weapon as is more to dangerous to other passenger so that is objective objective this not to provide on plans for the second one is good and service tax direction is more to value added uh, tax in malaysia which is a uh, product production process to refund with the expense 
expressional expressional of blocking input text to all party in the chains of product other than final consumer consumer so text is good and service text for the last one is healthiest churning at enter points means that uh when you arrive the points means that uh when you arrive to airport you will you will to get a uh, healthy scanning like uh, like scan your head uh, head head to see to check is if you not to six or six for and the type of healthy scanning which is a uh, only two is primary churning and the last one is secondary churning. For primary churning is which is uh, obs observing travel for other signs of illness, uh, misery, temperature and collection information on travel and ex exposure history. So this is primary sharing for second is secondary sharing which is, is include a healthcare or public health professional so that's all for me thank you assalamualaikum this is Arif. my name is Muhammad Aswan bin Arjan and i from the up Dwasi. so today i will explain about air rule and regulation application card arrival card also known as an incoming passenger card landing card or this immigration card is a legal document used by immigration or Greece of many countries to obtain information about incoming passenger not provided by the passenger passport such as health criminal record where they will be staying purpose of the visit and to provide a record of a person entry into the country the card may also provide information on health and character equipment for non-citizen entering the country some country re require an arrival card for each incoming passenger will either require one card per family unit and some only require an arrival card for non-citizen okay next cabin bag allowance you are allowed to bring on board two pieces of bag as part of your cabin bag allowance with the total weight of board item not exceeding seven kilo one piece of cabin bag must not exceed 56 centimeter multiply 60 36 centimeter multiply 20 cm including the handle wheel and side pocket then communication screen for the comfort safety and security of other passenger on the flight passenger are not allowed to carry receipts item in their carry on baggage to minimize invoice you advise to check in or put this item in your check-in baggage for example you can bring a pistol drug and something else then keep calm during flight you must uh, come uh, when you in the flight so you don't disturb other people then if you panic on the flight you have to stay calm uh, they have uh, tips to you make you come in the flight